Hi everyone, um, I'd like to introduce our newest IP utility version 4 okay? and to start out with this um, recording I'd like to show you the design concepts, the basic design concepts under this um, new design and um, there are three main topics, one is the speed, two the mass configuration and three the automation that it carries. Okay now let me demonstrate. Double click and then look at how fast it is when it searches for your devices on your network. Now, um, so in an instant, it will tell you uh, all the devices it will show, what kind of devices, um, the IP, the MAC address, the firmware version, the model, the serial number, and then it's multicast IP. Okay? And then um, furthermore, it will show you the status, whether it's got conflict or things like that. Okay? So it's pretty smart, this new IP utility. And then um, um, we're expecting it to be um, very helpful in your installation, okay? Especially with the speed that it's got, it's going to save you a lot of installation time, okay? And um, hence, it will reduce your cost and uh, make more money for you eventually. Now, um, let me uh, and secondly, let me demonstrate the mass configuration. Uh, we also call it the global function, okay? Now, you can see that there's an account and password here. So basically, if on a project or on site you have uh, multiple devices that's got uh, the same account name and password, which usually is the case, um, all you gotta do is enter the same uh, the the single um, uh, account and password, and then you can log in like through links here. You can log in to your cameras automatically, okay, without typing the account and password again, okay. So this is the the basic concept of the global function and. This is the whole design is based on for the new IP utility version 4. And now um, you can select all devices as a global function if you want to make any uh, setting or configuration changes. So now let's not do that. Uh, let's just select a few. Okay. So now I selected four. And if I want to do any configurations to these four devices, I just need to click here. So for device settings, and for example, if you go to motion and you click here, you want to set motion device settings. And you come into here, you can adjust any configurations you have under motion to this four devices that you have selected so it's more of a one to many configuration which uh, in our concept it saves you installation time and cost and earns you money eventually and now um, same thing as the video and audio click for these four devices you can set the video and audio settings through here just apply it and it will apply all everything to the four devices you have selected or more if you have selected them or every single channel okay and then um, this global uh, concept is it, pretty important because um, this changes um, our whole IP utility the usage of a whole our, our new IP utility so um, if you get a hands uh, if you get hands-on uh, with it and you get a hang of it with just a few clicks quickly and efficiently it will set up everything all the devices that you have here uh, on your network okay and uh, lastly uh, a never before this function is incorporated uh, into our IP utility now it's called the URL command okay now you can click send URL command to devices and same same concept you can send all URL commands to all the devices okay you have selected a commands are here just enter it whether it's system or encoder and there's um, a little help here for commonly used commands okay and then uh, apply and it will apply to all of your devices globally okay so um, this is the main uh, three concepts the speed the mass global configuration okay and then in my next Camtasia I'll um, show you how the automation will work okay thank you for listening Hi everyone, this will be the continuation of the um, IPU Daily 4 introduction uh, part 2. Um, a continuation from the part 1 and we're going over the last part of the newest feature in our IPU Daily 4 which is the automation of the IPU Daily and let me, let me demonstrate okay. So double click on the IPU Daily and now you can see that um, it automatically uh, discovered six cameras okay six cameras with the same IP addresses
Okay, so therefore the status tells you that the IP address is in conflict with another. As a warning, okay, um, in the previous version, uh, you will have to go back uh, to each camera and then um, change its IP addresses one by one. But in this version, I fixed that. So we can select all and then we can uh, click on change network address and apply. So um, when we come back, um, all the cameras will be changed accordingly without conflict automatically. So this is one of the greatest milestones in our um, US IPO duty design concept. Okay. Continue with uh, where we left over from uh, the introduction just now from the part two of the I2 utility version four, where we're trying to do a demonstration on automation on changing automatically of the IP addresses that's conflicting. Okay, now after we have changed um, applied to change network address automatically, now you can see that previously when all the cameras have dot 100 conflicts now the IP utility automatically assigns dot 102, 103, 104, 105, 106 respectively to each of the cameras and you can see here it skipped dot 101 well that's because my computer here is using dot 101 so the IP utility is smart enough to filter out the conflicting ones and then assign accordingly okay so this is one of the uh, very powerful functions that we have in our IP utility version 4 is, uh, essentially it saves you time during installation configuration so eventually it will save you cost in the long run okay and uh, after uh, other than that um, we also have a, a very um, smart upgrade okay so basically um, we can select a camera here and we can choose from an upgrade and um, the IP utility will select uh, whether it's a, a camera, video encoder, firmware image, or ISP image, whichever you want to do. And uh, you can just, uh, the IP utility will upgrade the latest firmware after you specify which folder it is in. And it would select the correct, the latest firmware for you. Okay. If not, you can always select the specific firmware. Um, in wherever you have put the file in your folder okay so um, and uh, of course you can do it globally basically you can select more than one device and do the upgrading and uh, the IP utility will be intelligent enough to filter out which is the latest and which is the correct firmware for whichever camera you have selected okay so um, that's another part of the automation okay and then um, other than that um, this is it um, this is the final part of the whole introduction to our IP utility version 4 okay thank you for listening